Hey, what up guys? In this one, we're playing Bayview Golf Course. This is a club that is in Milpitas. Uh, this is like a course that's notoriously rated low on Golf Now. I think the lowest rated 18 hole course in the Bay Area. So we're gonna check it out and let's head out to the course and see how I did. Hold, hold. All right, should be good. Just at the left side. That might be short. Short and just off the green. Gosh darn it. Wow, this slopes so hard to the right. Now come down. Oh, I'm pin even. Oh, I love starting out the day like that. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some YouTube magic. You didn't, I forgot to record my first one. So. I just wanna make a quick note here. I don't think this course is that bad. Um, definitely, it's, it's an interesting track and I had a good time I played that day, but I understand where people could rate this so poorly and we're gonna explore that while I'm on the course and I'm gonna talk about it through some of the holes. So let's head back into the vlog. It's gotta go, I'm gonna have another long shot into it. If it goes. All right, I think I'm on. I'm gonna break it down into the left. Stay up. Sit. Whoa. All right. Par on this one. I'll take it. Come on. All right, I'm on it. That turned out really good. Just going left to right. I'm gonna give it a give it a little go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow, that breaks so much. Wow, that broke so much. I hit it firm. I even didn't trust my line. It went up further. Oh, I chunked it. That's a tough shot. Ball well above my feet. Yeah, that's so, It like there's a heel that kicks away. Lucky it rained a little bit, this would be even harder. Wow, look at it go. That is crazy. Oh, that was scary. Win, take it. No, I don't want to be in the sand trap. Oh, oh, well, okay, not a great chip. That stayed straight. No way. So you're not able to see much, but it's basically, <laughs> this is why this course is kind of tricky. Like you're not gonna be able to see this downhill, but I can see where this gets backed up because there's people waiting. I don't know if it's safe to hit, really. I think it is, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's fading off that tree. I hope that's the right line. Oh, flared it right. Yeah, this side hill, plus, probably came a little bit over the top. Oh, I'm in another trap. Gosh darn it. Siddle. Ooh, okay, I'll take that. 
I'll take the two putt. Uh, sand is killer. Oh, that was like a scared of the left kind of swing. Fade, please fade. I pulled it a little bit. Oh, if it was going, that would have been a little better, but it's pretty short. Or if it goes in, it goes in. There we go. Wow. Okay, so, so far so good. Uh, this course, you know, it's kind of just a whole perfect combination of things why this course is rated as such. Firstly, like the carts, there's a lot of invisible boundaries that they have implemented, probably for safety reasons and, you know, course condition reasons. Um, so if you're getting to trouble, you really can't take your cart there. So it really adds up to the time that it takes to play. Um, secondly, this course is actually pretty tough and it gives a lot of not unfair, but a lot of lies that are like above your feet or below your feet. And if you're not used to playing that, like I'm not used to playing that, it could really be difficult to keep it straight. Uh, so main thing about this course is that if you stay out of trouble, I think you'll be okay, but that's really hard to do. Then you have a hole like this where basically like it's dead straight left up the hill. You have to like pretty much aim for this tree here and then it goes straight up the hill uphill, which is a pretty difficult hole. So I'm sure it gets backed up here because once they are cleared here, I'm not even sure if they're out of the way. So there's a lot of shots where it's kind of blind and that also adds to the mix of things. So there's a lot of things going against this course, but still overall, I don't think it's that bad. Um, there's probably other courses that I'd play. I think la the last thing is that the cost of the play here is pretty expensive. So if you're not having a good day and it's slow and you play a hole like this where it's like kind of gimmicky, it all kind of just adds to your perception of what this course really is. <laughs> oh, see fade right off, that's perfect. I think that's gonna be really good. All right, so as you can see, I hit a really good shot over the tree, but I almost ran out of fairway. So even if you're, if you're too aggressive, you're gonna run through and be in this, this just like pure dirt over there. So adding to the experience, right? Wow, I hit a good one, guys. I knew it. In my feet, I felt it. Dang. Always trust the feet in the end, Matt. I think that's the lesson of today. All right, so here's another example of a hole that could cause problems. So it's a, it's a dog leg right, but there's this huge hill here that blocks most of the view of the golfers that are in front of you. So this can also cause backups. Um, that being said, I, the, the, they even say on golf now, like this is a knowledge person's course. So if you know where to hit, which I don't know where to line up on this hole, I'm just gonna aim for the mansion in the background. But if you don't know where to hit it, that could make your round super long. And then with you know the barriers, you can go into a place where your cart won't allow. So I can see how pace of play gets really backed up here with the blind shots errant shots going to places where your cart can't go. Um, so yeah, it can be really tough. Yeah, that's that's where I played it with a little fade. I hope, see, and then I don't know if I, I'm hitting into people or not, it's, it's tough. Oh, what was that? Right in front. It's gonna be a little short, but. Sit, oh gosh. All right, that's just two putt, like I said. Take my medicine. Up and down. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. All right, so maybe another reason why this slows down. This hole's actually pretty cool. Like, there's like a, big old water feature that you can try to carry. That tree's like 213 yards, that little willow. Uh, but that means a lot of people try to go for it. <laughs> so on rounding the turn on the 10th hole and you have a hole that's kind of like this, probably a reason why it gets backed up just a slight bit. 
everyone kind of seems to be aware of that. Give it to me. Just a little short. All right, bump and run gang, where you at? Stay. Okay, I got a short one for par. Oh. Oh. Gosh darn it. All right, so you're probably starting to see a trend here. Uh, so after that, I guess what would be assuming a whole 10 back up, you get this next hole that's pretty short, but you can't see anyone because it's so severely down slope. So I'm not sure if I'm in the clear or not. Um, not drivable, but like, how do I know? And then on the cart, it doesn't say anything either in terms of uh, like if there's people or not. Oh. <sighs> All right, so another reason why this course is tough, and I mentioned it earlier before, is that there are invisible boundaries that the carts are not allowed. Now, I get that they are doing this probably because if you drive your cart on some of these inclines, you're going to tip over. Yeah, it could be like maybe they're trying to keep areas green too. Not sure if that's the best implementation of it, but if you see this B-roll shot of this hole that I'm on, there's barriers everywhere. So yeah, that this is why another frustration of this course, but I don't, I mean, I'm hitting it pretty good today, so I'm not running into it all that often, but someone who struggles might run into it quite a bit and that can be frustrating. Oh, that was heavy rough, get up there. It stayed straight? What? It stayed straight. Go. Stay up. Stay. Oh. Come on. No, crud, don't hit the path. Go. The end it broke so hard all right another i guess criticism of the layout is these pair of par fives they kind of play close into each other and you don't really have to be careful if i mean you should be careful about hitting it in other fairways but people don't so it backs things up and people hit each other a lot <laughs> Wow, look at this pin. I should have hit more club on my second shot. Go, please stay. Oh, I'll take it. It's only like a foot away. All right. I think I'm short. I think I went into the junk. 
All right, lost the ball. That was incredible. That was like a 190 or 185 playing like over 200. So I'm lying two here, hitting three. Bump and run, gang. If we just get up and down, we'll get away with the bogey here. Too aggressive, me. Ah. Uh, double. I'm pretty sure I came off this hill and a roll all the way. That just blows my mind. It needs to go. I didn't hit that very good. Oh. Not sliding that hard. Ah. Oh. And one last thing I guess about this course is that they are battling gophers. Uh, it used to be a lot worse apparently, but like on the tee boxes, just these little, these little dudes just poke up and bury, dig everywhere. And it's hard to make tee boxes flat after that. So I feel for this club. I mean, I think it's a good track. It just has a lot of going against it. Fade, please. Uh oh. So I'm about 18. Bump and run gang, where you at? Like a long 18 yard putt. Give it to me. Oh my God. Bump and run gang, where you at? All right, so I ended the round with an 83, not bad. Um, yeah, this course has so many negative reviews and I get that and I guess we can probably go back and read some of them, but that being said, you know, I understand why, you know, the reviews are negative, but it's kind of unfair. And I guess, you know, ownership can't really do as much because the course layout is what it is. Uh, they're trying their best. They are cutting down the areas in which you can lose a ball and letting things roll out. And uh, there's so much elevation that I get why there are carts that have like the limited restrictions. Um, because if you drive up on a hill, and you know, you go in a wrong angle, your cart will topple over. Uh, there's gophers everywhere that they've tried to maintain, but one gopher hole pops up into a tee box and then you're kind of screwed. You know, it's hard to make that level. Um, and then also pace of play could probably be pretty hard because all those factors combined, this makes this course pretty tough if you don't know where to hit the ball. And it's just like really unrelenting with the lies that you get. You could be in the middle of the fairway and unfortunately, you'll just have a, you know, a severely, you know, uh, you know, severely sloped lie where either ball is way below your feet or above your feet. So that makes it even more difficult. Um, so a lot of things going against this course, but if everyone knew how to play it, you know, and everyone was, you know, had the smarts to go about this course and try to score in a, you know, in a smart way, I feel like pace of play would be better. But that's impossible. There's not going to be all golfers on this course that are going to be good. Even I had some off times and, you know, I even hit the boundaries sometimes to try to go find my ball. So that being said, you know, I understand why the reviews are what they are. I don't think they're necessarily that fair, but reading some of them, you know, I, I kind of get it. Uh, the person in the shop was very friendly to me, had no issues there. Um, you know, the range was okay, uh, had some grass, but uh, they're trying to make that, you know, not as messed up, but the facilities were okay. Yeah, it's just a lot of things that are going against this course. And, um, you know, they're trying to do their best because, you know, no one wants to lose money on the golf course. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Keep chasing and I'll see you in the next one.